Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. That there is a mystery bag of grocery ingredients. Question is, can our two normals stretch its contents to make three meals of two portions each in just 45 minutes? We've done this a few times already and it's not gone swimmingly. <laughs> Have a rummage around. Okay, what have we got? Mint. Chuck, shall I do this bit? Yeah, no, you <laughs> uh, Broad beans. Ooh. Couple of fillets of salmon. Steak. Oh, and a gazillion root vegetables. Oh no! They're like minute steaks as well, aren't they? They're thin. They're like bavette. It is technically a steak, but it comes from... Oh, it's a lamb. Oh dear, we're in trouble. So we want the boys to use every one of those ingredients. Food waste will not be tolerated. 45 minutes on the clock and your time starts now. Okay, this, we've got this to lamb, we got, I reckon we got to split it. If you did like thinly sliced yes. lamb leg. Yes. And then the other piece of lamb, serve in a more comforting parsnip mash style. You have got staples as always. Rice, pasta, couscous, noodles, herb spices, tomato paste, garlic, ginger. Midway cooking should never evolve a peeler. <laughs> I've, I've preheated two ovens and preheating pans, Baz. Because okay. whenever we do these videos and chefs are in the kitchen, oh, they just do they this. do, don't they? So I've got some noodles here from the store cupboard. So, oh, yes! So I could do like, well, so now, do I do like a stir, fr uh, well, I could do a broth with some pork, thin pork on. Oh, okay. Some yeah. carrots. Thin pork on. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! But, but, you but, haven't got pork in your store cupboard. So I'm lamb! <laughs> lamb! Garlic and ginger base. I'm going to roast off all the veg. Oh, good idea. At the same time. And then mash some of it. Mash some of it and leave, leave the other bits to go in my warm salad. Wow. No, wrong one. Where's the... I always forget which one it's in. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. I just bent down to pick up the bot and I split my trousers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very, very embarrassing. <laughs> Can you use all of this mint? I'm not sure I want it I've, over here. No, I've, I've used... I've got, I've got a bit of it. My salad. Could oh. marinate the, the, the lamb. Ooh, that's a touch. Do I have to use all of this, Ebers? Mint's not going to last, so if no! you're going to buy a packet of mint, use it up. The other option, of course, is grow your own, and you've always got it on hand. Wow. So you're in your comfort zone right now, aren't you? This kitchen is never my comfort zone. I'm going to have to make a spice blend. I have fried off ginger, garlic, and then ground coriander, cinnamon powder, and a little bit of paprika. I don't know what I'm doing, but it smells great. 12 minutes on parsnips. Oh my oh God! My goodness. I haven't gone to my carrots yet. <laughs> Good job, parsnips are in. This is lamb, yep. and it's in mint, oil, some cumin powder, and squeeze of lime. Beautiful, is that for to go in my parsnip mash? Yes. Thank you! I'm gonna fry off the other one, and put it in my curry, which is burning. I can see and smell that from here. We did a poker face episode not long ago, and one of the common cooking mistakes for normals is burning spices. And we said that once you've burnt them, you pretty much have to start again. Bit burny? You might have just got away with that. Where's the milk? Oh, there it is. This is the thickest coconut milk I've ever seen. So Barry has lumped some feta onto some salmon, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and then the zest of our lemon. Okay, salmon's in. A little bit more paprika. You can always add more in, you can't take it out. It is the right way round to mess it up. A little more. Aha. Trusty peeler. <laughs> no room for a peeler midweek. <laughs> that is also okay for not tolerating waste, is to eat your scraps. I'm happy with that. Let's get some chilli flakes in this to try and make it taste of something. Water, salt. Look, there's some ginger there. I add ginger. Oh! That was, a, that was a real mistake. That was a real mistake. Nudes. Lamb. Michael, I'm freestyling. There was so much carrot, I decided to roast some of it off with some feta. But we all know that when you freestyle, I lose confidence. Season this with lime, make it nice and fresh. 15 minutes left, how are your parsnips looking? Oh, gonna take a while. Bust it up, get it right up there. Use as many broad beans as you want because they're frozen, they go back in your freezer. We won't consider those as waste. Boys, 10 minutes remaining. 
to let that rest. Good decision to let the lamb rest. Some roasted parsnips are in my salad. Oh my God. Okay, so smashed parsnip with yogurt and chive. That's your plating. Don't worry about it. Four minutes. Ah, it's on the floor. We've got some absolute lunacy over here. What can I do with that? I need another plate, I need another plate. We need to drain these. Crikey, yes, I forgot about those. My salad, <laughs> right. 90 seconds. Yeah. Are they cooked? They're going in. Get the yogurt in. Where am I melting this wine? <laughs> <laughs> Last 20 seconds. Quickly! This is so bad, I can't. Okay, Barry, this is humiliating. <laughs> Last two seconds. I'll just season it. Step away from the absolute carnage. Got some carrot with that. <laughs> Boys, six plates of food, three different things going on. Yeah. Should we start with this one that definitely had a plan? Yes. This is noodle broth with lamb and a trio of carrots. Mm, mm. Good use of store cupboard flavours, the soy and the spices, confused by the excessive, just raw, unseasoned carrot on top. What I would say is, it's a good way of getting veg into a midweek meal. It's all right. It's a good plate of food. This looks great. The chive and yogurt with the smash, I think is really clever. Parsnips are just about 10 minutes underdone. I quite like the crunch. That's what's beautiful about a lamb mm. leg steak, is a high sear, mm. then let it rest and you get that wonderful pink mm. middle. That's yummy. It's one of those dishes that you get to the end of the week and you throw everything that's left in the fridge mm -hmm. onto a plate. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's perfectly edible. It's not particularly great. I would concur. This was your best dish. Making use of the coconut milk and a noodle kind of broth. That's clever. The lamb was perfect. And that's a happy accident of things that are left that isn't particularly happy. happy. Oh. Let me show you what our food team would have done with the same ingredients. Can anyone else taste ginger? <laughs> <laughs> so the first dish I'm going to do is the lamb. For me, it's all going into one recipe. But I'm going to balance that out with loads and loads of zingy, fresh, mustardy broad beans. So first things first. Uh, Grill on, whack the lamb on. Sabers, you've got half an hour for each of these. Half an hour for each, and I'm going to make use of a few staple ingredients from the store cupboard as we go. So heavily seasoned, salt, pepper, and a little drizzle of oil. The lamb can go under the grill. It's going to need about 12 minutes, and in that time, we'll do everything else. So I say it's a half hour cook. It's probably closer to 15 minutes. I've also boiled and preheated a pan and we're going to boil our broad beans. It's a lovely dish that you can cook all year round with frozen beans and whenever lamb is in season. Right the way through in the UK, sort of August, September, October, this would also be a late summer dish as well as an early spring one. I'm also going to use half the mint and half of the chives, saving the other half for other dishes. From the store cupboard, I'm going to use mustard, olive oil, and then the zest and juice of our lemon. What you're looking for, and it will depend on the thickness of your lamb, but a nice little bit of colouring and then resting. That on its own, punchy. But we're about to dilute it with half a kilo, nearly, 450 grams of raw beans, plus all of our fresh herbs. This is one of those dishes that we describe as embarrassingly simple because it is almost embarrassing to demonstrate just how simple, but it tastes amazing and then half of our feta crumbled over. And there we go. Probably less than 15 minutes, the first dish done. A mound of beautiful fresh broad beans with a zingy zesty dressing and crumbled feta. Dish two, we're gonna do roasted coconut parsnips with tandoori salmon. Oh, hello. It starts with an awful lot of peeling and prepping parsnips. This time I'm gonna preheat an oven. My technique here wasn't a million miles off. Nope, not at all. 
just didn't do it quick enough. It's a lot of prep for this first stage, but then it's very much a hands-off tray bake, and it takes about 25 minutes in the oven. It's about the same time as yours, except much higher. Onto this goes a tin of coconut milk. Not ideal. Roasted, a roasted <laughs> coconut cream. Just like you did, Baz, really wise to zest and juice the citrus, because you get twice the power and flavour and tang. It's kind of some of the flavours that Mike was beginning to add to his dish, but instead of noodles, I'm using the parsnips. Because next up, ginger. Garlic as well. And then you smush the whole lot together and roast it off. Now, that is not a brothy, soupy consistency. The coconut milk in the time in the oven will almost completely disappear and just give it this sticky, wonderful glaze. Also, I had to point out how clean his kitchen is as well. Granted, I'm only doing one dish at a time, yeah. but clean as you go is really important. Next up, I'm going to use the yogurt in two ways. One way in this dish, one way in the next dish. And that is the beauty of buying and shopping and cooking by collections of recipes, like recipe packs, rather than individual recipes. Because if you wanted to cook this one dish, it would be delicious, you could do it, but you'd buy a pot of yogurt, you'd use half of it, and the other half would go in the fridge, slowly work its way to the back of the fridge, grow a fur coat, and eventually throw it away. Food waste, wasted money. By doing it this way, we know that across the three dishes we're going to use them all. So half as a marinade here, tomato puree, curry powder, plus some smoked paprika. And a little bit of chilli if you like. It's going to be the perfect marinade to go over our salmon. That is a wonderful sort of tandoori marinade that you could put on lamb or chicken, you could rub over paneer. In this case, we're placing our fish in. I have all those ingredients at home already, apart from the yoghurt. Yep. That also goes into the oven. Same oven, same temperature. This will only need 10 minutes whilst we wait for our pasta to finish cooking. And you came across this same problem, Mike. Very little in the way of the onion family in this particular grocery bag. Mm. But I'm using the chives as a garnish right at the end. So at this stage, I need to give the parsnips more time in the oven so I can use this time to wash up. All that coconut is reduced down and you get this wonderful sort of sauce that coats the parsnips. And you have a wonderful second dish. You're doing really well, Evers. We're really proud of you. Just to warn you, you're left with some rather obscure ingredients now. Yeah, I'm a bit worried myself. <laughs> Any help? Just yet. Cloud egg onto the paper. Oh, So we're going to use the store cupboard for this, but we're going to start with the other ingredient always have in your freezer, the peas. We need 250 grams. What are you making? Pea fritters with a carrot salad. So I don't want to cook the peas, I just want to defrost them. So maybe a minute in the microwave just to get rid of the frozenness. And while we're waiting on that, I can chop up the rest of the mint. So with the peas just defrosted, so they're just kind of poppable and they're not frozen in the middle, we're then going to make a batter around them. Self-raising flour, yoghurt, feta cheese, cumin, chilli, and then let it down with milk, about 100 ml, until you have a fritter consistency. See, now this is a good use, we think, of using things that are always kicking around in your store cupboard. Flour, milk, peas, some spices, the fresh things in here, it's just the feta and yogurt really, and that's left over from previous recipes. Once you've got that consistency, dollop it into four big fritters in a pan of oil so it's already warm and just beginning to shimmer. I am going to make a quick dressing, so that's the zest of two limes and a grated clove of garlic. 
then the juice of both limes with the fresh mint and our leftover yogurt. And then you've got a bowl that you can basically peel all your carrot into. Once I flip my fritters, it should be crispy and golden on one side and half cook through. You cook it through on the other side and then you don't end up with anything. It's pasty in the middle, but it will be slightly gooey because of the cheese and the yogurt. And that melted feta kind of gives it a real unch. Plus, of course, the pop of pea. Oh, you had to. Well done. You got, got enough carrot, do you reckon? This whole collection of three recipes is pretty lean on the starchy carbs. So it's really filling out with veg and fibre. And the last ingredient is the remaining 25 grams of feta. Very impressive. Very interesting. I have to eat it to understand it. Relatively little equipment. I'm sorry about the leftover carrot. Uh, well, I need to eat before Dig in. I can speak. And I think in most cases, it's kind of a mix it all up. Big on mustard, mm. big on fresh herbs, and the feta, I think that creaminess just comes back in to balance it all out. Deliciously zesty. Mm. Cheers. You've made a stodgy vegetable into a very light and fragrant, refreshing dish. It tastes of coconut milk though, doesn't mm. it? And I think all three of these dishes feel very spring-like. That is glorious. That marinade that on that, I'll be using that on all sorts of meat because that is fantastic. That's a game changer. That is amazing. Oh, a nice bit of heat as well. It's so crispy. Crispy on the outside and that gooey cheese in the middle. So much carrot, but it doesn't taste of carrot. It tastes of all that zesty yogurtiness going through. So essentially what Ben's done today is exactly what our Sidekick app does. Yes, you select three inspiring meals. It breaks them down into a single shopping list of ingredients and then takes you through the cooking of each one across the week, using up all the fresh ingredients that you buy. So no food waste, no money waste. If you want to try it, you can. It's free for 30 days. All the perks of having a private chef in your pocket without me loitering around. Without all the downsides is what he's saying. Brag a bit more. Yeah, he's got, he's got a real braggy tone to him, isn't he? Has. he? It's, it's a like sprig a, of mint. It's, it's a like, swag. Oh, take the sprig of mint. The chest is so puffed out. out. He's going to need a sports bra. <laughs> 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 I need one of those anyway. <laughs>